In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Zenslabs pen tablet display, and while I'm giving my impressions of it, I figured I might as well do a digital illustration. Because Zenslabs was our partner for this year's Drawtober, and obviously they sent this to me to review, there's going to be a little bit of a bias, but I pride myself on being an honest person, so I'm going to do my best to talk about what I think is good about it alongside what I think could still be improved. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on this digital illustration while I talk about what it's been like working on this tablet for the past three months. And I thought it might be kind of cute to draw my cat Casper in a field of flowers. It's pretty simple and I think it would make for a good thumbnail. I used to work digitally every day when I was doing tutorials at CG Cookie, so I'm very familiar with what I'm looking for when I'm working with a tablet. Now the number one thing that I've noticed that I want is good precision, and I will say Zenslabs has very good precision with this tablet. Because I work more traditionally now, I tend to use the tablet for other things like making my marketing or promotional images, editing the pages in my new art book, or even editing the pencil drawings that I scan. I just need to make sure that when I'm going to work on the tablet, it's as easy as intuitive as it possibly can be. Now for context, I have worked with the Wacom Cintiqs for the past nine-ish years, and they worked pretty well. I don't have a lot of complaints with them, but I would notice that every now and then it would get a little finicky working with my Mac, and that is something I have not had any issues with with Zenslabs so far. And I will say, my first impression was that it was incredibly easy to install. They make it so easy that even someone who admittedly isn't the best with technology can just plug it in and start working. And the other thing that stood out to me right away is they had two different pens. One was the standard one that you normally see when it comes to drawing with a Cintiq, but then the other one had a skinnier version, kind of like the ones that you see with the iPad. Now I didn't know which one I would tend to prefer, but I will say, in the past three months of working with this tablet, I do choose the smaller one when it comes to doing line art or quick sketching, but then when I'm doing digital painting, I still revert back to the thicker one. And the other thing that stands out pretty obviously is this jumbo control deck. Naturally, I found my hand going back to the keyboard, and I like working with my left hand there, and then my right hand actually on the tablet. So while the control panel wasn't necessary for me, I like that it is an option that you could use, and I do have friends that I know will like this uh, better than the keyboard. And something that I should note, you can customize all the buttons, and it is very easy to do so, but it's just something that I personally wouldn't use. And then something kind of dumb, but I really enjoyed it, is you can change the color of the circles at the top right here. I did enjoy that I could change this to this kind of yellow sunflower color. The final thing that I noticed is it wasn't as reflective as my previous antiques, and I, I enjoy that. Because with the previous ones, I would have to rearrange the lighting in my room so that it would never <laughs> reflect on the screen, whereas this one, it doesn't really matter. I did a little bit of research and I found out this is very purposeful. They created this anti-glare etched glass, and I will say it definitely works very well. There are a lot of products that claim that it has anti-glare, but this one I feel works very well, especially because I work in a pretty bright room. I have two walls that are basically just windows in this workroom, so it gets pretty bright in here. And as long as you're not angling it directly at the window, then you're fine. And especially in the past, I've had string lights on the ceiling and every single light would be reflected in the Cintiq surface, where with this one, I don't even see them at all. So kudos to Zenslabs for actually having an anti-glare screen. I feel like this works very well. And I think for a lot of you that might be frustrated with glare while they're working, uh, this is definitely a positive. Another thing I noticed while working on it that I did really like was how low it was to the table and how easy it was to angle it further down. I really like how easy it is just to pull the lever in the back and it just folds down and then you let go and voila, it's exactly at the level that you want. There are times where I want the screen lower so I can draw on it more like I would in my sketchbook and then other times I just need it to act as a second monitor. So I'm just gonna pull it all the way up and then push it back. And because how easy that really is, it never feels like a burden to have to do it. And this is something that Zenslabs definitely has over Wacom, because with their new Cintiq, you have to buy the stand separately, and I believe it's about $500, and that's crazy. This is something that should easily just be built in, and there's nothing really more that I need it for than just to raise and lower, so I'm glad that it's just included with the package. So as I'm finishing up this time lapse of the cat here, I will say, as a modern day artist, there's no reason I wouldn't recommend this tablet. 
Seriously, even without them sending me one, I was looking into getting a new Cintiq anyways, and tech is so good at this point that it really just comes down to personal preference. I feel like most of them serve their job, but for me, something that was important was obviously precision, and I wanted something that actually had an anti-glare screen, and this tablet gives me both of those. I will say, I think the colors could be a little more vivid, especially compared to the newest iMac that I have. You can definitely see a little bit of a difference. And especially if you compare this to the other products in the market right now, for the size that it is, it's a very good price point. And I feel like if they can just improve the colors in the future, that's one nitpick that I will say needs to be improved upon. I really enjoy working with this, and I want to give another big thanks to Zenslabs for giving me this opportunity, and I will put links below if this is something that you're interested in possibly owning for yourself. Here is my finished illustration that I'm going to be using for the thumbnail of this video. And as always, thanks again for watching, and if you want to join my ever-growing Discord community, it's free to join, and there is a link in the description, and you can find all my other infos down there as well. Till next time!